sunny spike. Buenos dias, oh look. The swamp. Right, this is the bar oh, yeah. we were in yesterday. It's empty now, look. <laughs> Which is open, I think. Yeah. It's empty. I told you we'd get here at six o'clock and get one of them chairs. <laughs> but look at this swan. Can you see him? How wonderful is that? He's just chilling out, the guy. And look, she gives him water. Look, he's got a bowl of water. How beautiful. Sunny Altair. Okay. So, what the plan is today, because I did do a bit of research, a very little bit, on Altair yesterday. Uh, there is an old town, but it's like quite steep up. And I think the best way to get there is probably along like the main road up there so that you're not having to climb up a big hill to get to it. We then just start at the, we're going to basically be at the top. You'll be at the top, yeah. Yeah. And we'll slowly Hopefully, work your way down. Hopefully, that's the theory, what you're telling me. Yeah. <laughs> um, so today I think what we're going to try and do is just rush up, not rush, but start where we ended yesterday. At the pirate ship bar. Yeah, and then just keep going from there because that's yeah. where like the new town is, where the proper shops are, the new shops. Yeah. So I think we'll... Good plan, Dan. Thank you very much. <laughs> and don't forget, we've still got the other way to go. There's a beach the other way. Yeah, I think that would be Scooter, though. That looked quite far. I was checking. No, it's not. It's Are not. you sure? It really isn't. It's <sighs> it's closer to that than here. Really? Yep, yep. Wow. So, yeah, beautiful. He's so determined not to get... Every day I say to him, can we get at least get the scooters out? And, and you just don't want to get the scooters out. Everywhere is quite far. I do like going on the scooters, but there's a couple of reasons. One, there's always the chance of an accident on a scooter. Yeah. Let's be honest. Yeah. Yeah. There is that. Two, you are restricted to what? You do tend to the to shops them, and like, things. Past everything, but if you literally want to get to just, just the other end, I mean, uh, they're good for that. Yeah, but then you can't go around the shops unless you yeah. tie them up. Yeah. You know, I like the scooters. We might do it one day, but uh, well, no. We while we're exploring, we bought chain. We did, now. but while we're exploring, I don't think we need them. That's and um, it is well known around here for um, people stealing bags and things. So I'm sure they'll steal scooters as well. Yeah. So that puts me off. Yeah. Uh, what sh what have you got there? I don't know. Latia Juana Mexican. Ah, we both like Mexican. Don't now we? I did see a Mexican. Ooh. I saw a Mexican the way we're going, Mazzy. That I might be it. That's it, yeah. Oh I tell you what, that meal yesterday. That was scrummy. We're all right, wasn't it? Yeah, really nice. <laughs> right, yeah. let's get to where we left off yesterday. We'll walk on the, this side, see if there's anything on the beach side today, because we didn't yesterday. That's the bus, the number 10, which goes into Benidorm. And if you're staying in Benidorm, you can get over here for €1.55. Euro that's the term. No, it's one way. Uh, no, I think that's the term. It's the same price oh, wherever you're going. Yeah. So it doesn't matter if you're going two stops or going to Altea, it's one fifty-five. So. Yeah. I'm Very good price. Benidorm. I woke up this morning thinking, oh, I really, really enjoyed Benidorm. Well, I really, really enjoy Altea. <laughs> right, we think we've found the new bit, which they pumped all the money into doing this, the front again. Well, we assume it is. We assume it is, but it does look brand new. All this looks like it's freshly paved. What's this over here, Mazzy? Is it a castle? Memorial Per la Saint de la Mar Altea. Don't really know. They've got some strange ideas about art over here, we've noticed. Such a glorious day, isn't it? It is beautiful. <laughs> we are so lucky. 
Now I saw this yesterday. I do wonder. Oh, is it just Christmas messages? Is it? All right, Christmas cards or something. Let's have a look. So it looks like it's a Christmas tree made out of Christmas cards made by the local school or something. Oh, it's so nice. Such a little touch, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> and that one is actually in English. Merry Christmas. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a cute one. Feliz Navidad. Is Navidad Christmas or something over here? I'm not sure. I've heard that I'm before. because it's all over the cards. Yeah. yeah. Feliz Navidad. There yeah. you go. Yeah, unusual. It's not really the kind of thing you'd get in England. I like it. Yeah, but it doesn't look traditional, does it? This bit looks new again now. Oh, nice. oh this is a bandstandy bit. Yeah. Even the beach looks nicer down the end now, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, this is nice. I'm guessing it is all pretty new, Mazzy. Say it was built yesterday, but did you? I don't know. Uh, looking back on yesterday's video, I did notice we had the same problem we had before as last camera broke, uh, where we're m moving the camera around too quickly, and it's just not. It's like a bit blurry in the background. It's not picking it up right. What's happening to this one? I think it's the setting we've got it on. Oh gosh. I think for us to have it on hyper smooth. So yes, I'm I wasn't happy with the quality of the picture. Mm. Um and it seemed to be worse in bad light. You know when we went to the pirate ship bar when oh, we went yeah. inside. It, it I don't know, the picture in the background just isn't clear enough. Our old camera used to do that anyway when yeah. we went into churches and stuff. I don't think you can technically fix that setting. All we can do really is start moving the camera a bit slower. Hmm. Bob, Bob Earnshaw did tell you a setting on the last camera we had and we tried it, didn't we? But then you had to change the setting back back for the daytime one. I don't know. Yeah, do you remember? I can't remember. Can't yeah. remember. But anyway, I was looking last night at new cameras. Yeah. I know we've just got this one, but this oh, is... I was surprised to hear this. This is just a replacement for his last one. Um, and we did say we want a camera each, so that we can yeah, do. do his own thing if yeah. we're a pet ever apart, things like that. Mm -hmm. And I think what I'm going to go for is the Insta360 um, Plus 3 or whatever it's called, number 3, the Just brand new one. Sorry. Um, if anyone knows if they're any good, please let me know. But the reviews look really good, and it will offer us a lot more in his videos which you'll see when we, when we get one which will be later in the year what are you looking at i don't know what it is it looks like i think it's somewhere where you can put the lottery on is it oh uh, no i don't know mazzy i don't know so this was on last night christmas concert the tenors in concert half past seven last night i think i'll be a, i think that's you know when i say right we come down here and we turn this way to go to where are we altea yeah if you go the other way i think that's albea albea and that's where the concert was last night oh. if you're into your tenors it might have been pretty good um i've never heard of them Spanish, Sp Christian Lindsay, that sounds English. Arturo Pasta, I don't know, someone might have heard of them. I need toilet. Hurry up. <laughs> Here he comes. Right, we, we're at the pirate boat place there, so the day starts from here, doesn't it? It's all new now. It's all new. Yep, looking forward to this. And this is like your proper shops coming up up there. Is there? Like your orange shops and all them. So oh, all right. Not on the front, just inland a bit, but. Oh, right, I see. In the town. The old town. It's like up there. Yeah. So we'll do that. <laughs> I don't like the word up. <laughs> this is something strange they do in Spain. Sometimes they'll park down the middle of the road. And this lane here, especially just for your bicycles and. Your scooters. 
It's weird, isn't it, honey? Yeah, but it shouldn't be allowed. It's, yeah. It spoils the front, does this car's coming it up spoils the few oh with the whole car situation mm. yeah just check this out look it's amazing oh i wonder if that's benedict no that's not benedict though in the very very far distance is hotel uh, oh, the, bali hotel bali that Grand we went bali, to because we could see right this place here, from somewhere. there so i'm guessing oh. it is the very far away one we can see from here and this is the rock then that would have had the Cross, cross on top, on. so we are actually on the other side. This yeah. rock here is the one you can see from Cowper. Yeah, yeah, this 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 one here, I think I'm pointing at it. <laughs> An appliance shop. Straight away I noticed the Smeg items. <gasps> I love Smeg. They're brilliant. If we'd have found one of them in Benidorm, we'd have got a kettle from in there, wouldn't we? Would have done, have you seen the price? A cheap it's kettle, I didn't mean one of them. <laughs> <laughs> 169 for the kettle and 200 for the... That's worth it though, stylish. Never worth it. For a cup of coffee. Now that's a cool tool station look, honey. <laughs> yeah, there is a few of them in Spurn. It's actually recycling friendly, so I'm guessing these are like hand-me-downs, are they? Are they? I don't know, but they're in good nick. If that were mine, the end of it would all be jagged and bent. Trashed. Yeah, yeah. I do like to see them. This is actually attached to the tourist information as well. Oh, I see. Oh, I'm surprised you've not wanted to go in. No, come up. No, come on. <laughs> get, get. Check this out for an old classic car. Look. It's like something out of the Italian job or something. I don't know. It's lovely. Been doing all the tours of oh. Spain, Barcelona. Oh, it's lovely. San Sebastian, Bilbao, Bilbao, Valencia. Paint works good, but it needs a new soft top. It obviously goes to all the classic <laughs> car shows, doesn't it? Yeah, it's rare you see a nice car like that. Belgium. Is it? Mm. Right, here we go. This is the start then of what looks like the next kind of stretch of shops. Yeah, this looks like the busy part of Altair, doesn't it? Yeah, this is pretty. You've got all these. Look at these like little chairs you can sit on here. I like those. These pebbles. Yeah, these huge pebbles. And a nice sculpture. Even the chairs are art though, aren't they? They're very artistic, I like them. Yeah, real nice. It's all AstroTurf again. Yeah, it keeps it neat and tidy, doesn't it? Maybe this is the new bit. This is the newish bit. The new bit. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see this. Right, where are we? Right there. It's an old church. That's the one. Something we want to go and visit, isn't it? I think it? everyone's been telling us we have to go to that church. Well, it looks like you can go up this alleyway here, look, honey. Which we would... can, but it is steps all the way up. We can do yeah, that. Yeah, but if we don't go up there, we might miss. Well, no, we've got to come down it, haven't we? Well, I don't think know. I think it. I'd rather go up there. Well, we could do that. Not yeah. today. No, we, not we today. We just want to do stretch. do the strip, see what's there. Yeah. But the old town, definitely. The church. I've seen inside the church. Have you? Yeah. Are you spoiled it for yourself? I it's is quite it good? nice. It's nice. <sighs> Yeah, this is all the new, but this is lovely. Yeah, this is lovely. Got a fitness gym place there, look. Hey, hey, hey. First thing in the morning, every morning. <laughs> oh, they've got my favourite, Mazzy. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's the funny one. Well, that and that. I like them both, <laughs> but I do like this one. <laughs> <laughs> Babe, you're embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, right, get, get off it, come on. Everyone might be laughing at me, but I'm getting fit, Mazzy. I'm getting fit. Oh, God, I, I'm going. I feel I'm, like I'm riding the horse. I'm too embarrassed. I can't, I can't, I can't do it this morning. <laughs> I ain't still at it. Nice little play area for the kiddies as well. It's, it's just... really beautiful. It is so beautiful here, isn't it? So it's, it's definitely the part they've spent the money on, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, it's brand new, you can tell. Yeah. I think I can see a statue, Mazza. Can you? I think I can see a skate park. The kids are 
whizzing around on there. This is for dogs, look. Oh my gosh, that's good. Wow. Just the play area for the duddies. <laughs> How cool is that? Oh, that's good, isn't it? How thoughtful, isn't it? It's thoughtful, but have you noticed one thing? What? It hasn't got. A bit of grass. No. What? A bin for your dog poop. Bags. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You'd think the dog park would have a bin for the dog poop, wouldn't you? Yeah. Yeah, you better put that one forward to the local council. Yeah, this is actually quite good. It's all like like a little skate park for the kids. I want... You know, the fact it is all concrete, you'd think it's really ugly, but it's not because no. they put the green bits in between. Yeah, the flowers and seats and stuff. And they obviously have AstroTurf because real grass would die. It's just too hot in the summer. It's low maintenance as well, isn't and it? Low maintenance. <laughs> yeah. Right, we're trying to get over to a statue Dan spotted. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I think they should do this in England. I know yeah. AstroTurf isn't cheap, but then you don't have to send a guy out around mowing every six every two weeks. weeks. Yeah, or two weeks. <laughs> yeah, there's uh, a boat over here. Look how pretty this is. So it goes down quite far then, honey. Well, we're near the end now. That's a nice, um, rusty bit of art. The Spanish love that, don't they? <laughs> Personally, I do, because it's character. Yeah. You like? <laughs> Very nice. Check this out, look, just in the little... It's for the wild cats. We think it might be. Must be a little home for the wild cats. Oh, that's so cute. There is a sign up here saying no dogs. Oh, all cats. <laughs> oh. So I don't know. <laughs> oh, what's in there then? Well, that's definitely for cats, it's isn't it? It's got a cat bowl in there or some kind of bowl. Bed on top. Yeah, bed on top. That's I definitely don't know. cats. Home. Oh, it's so pretty. And we've got the perfect weather today, haven't we? And got to tell you we have got a new cat oh yeah a new cat but yeah. this one is over friendly oh I'll tell you what it is he's lacking love and he really wants love doesn't he yeah or she but he's filthy yeah we don't want him in his van we don't really want to be touching him I don't mind no. a little tickle on his head and then wash my hands but he's all over us isn't he he won't leave us alone and we haven't yeah. even fed well Tried to give him a few biscuits. He weren't interested to weren't start interested. with. He just wanted a bit of love and attention. Mm. And I feel really bad, but I do think this one was proper disease-ridden. Yeah, it's yeah. really dirty. So we're, we're we trying to stay away him. from it. Well, we're just putting Put a, few a few biscuits out, but he ain't eating them, yeah. so I'm not going to do it again. Yeah. But uh, yeah, the yeah. first wild cat <laughs> which really wanted to be loved. Yeah. Bless him. Got some nice restaurants up here, look, babe. I bet it, yeah. I'll tell you what, I bet it comes to life on a night, this place. Yeah, I do. I bet it's lovely. Not like the younger generation, I wouldn't have thought. This place seems like more for the older generation. Yeah, it? and it's very uh, yeah. multicultural here. Yeah, very. Honestly, yeah. we've seen Dutch, Belgium, French, German, yeah. English. Very few English, though. Yeah, actually. I don't even think there's an English one on our campsite, is there? I think there's one. Is there? But yeah, they're from all over Europe, here. But the Germans next to us, they're, they're very friendly, aren't they? Lovely, lovely. And they keep talking to us, but we just don't understand them, because their English ain't... Speak for yourself. Well, you can speak a little bit of German, you can, can't you? <laughs> sure asking me if the television were too loud this morning. No, no problem. Um, yeah. But she can't speak a word of English, or she's certainly, she doesn't try. <laughs> Luckily, I can pick up the odd word. He speaks about as much English as I speak German, so we get by. Get okay. on all right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we don't meet many famous people on our journeys, do we? No, this one is huge. I'm so pleased we got to meet this one today. <laughs> Peppa Pig. It's only Peppa Pig <laughs> here in Altea. Hey Peppa! <laughs> you enjoy. I've actually been to Peppa Pig World. 
never that's mind. Fantastic! It's so good. Can you buy Peppa Pig poop dried poop. up? Why would you want poop? It's Peppa Pig's poop. <laughs> Famous poop. No. Right, we're practically at the end now, I think. And if we keep going on, I think we're passing to town. Yeah, we've right? walked to the very end now, which is, I think it was 31 minutes, it said on Google. It's taken us longer because we're just strolling. Yeah. But 31 minutes, and then you've got all the town behind here, which is like your modern shops, which we're going to go into now. Mm, what now? Oh, well, yeah. Are we up here? Yeah. Are we? Oh, I thought you said we were just doing... He did say this morning we were just doing down here today. No, I meant we're not doing the old town, which oh, is up at the top. okay. Yeah, we're going to go through here, oh, through the shops. there's some kind of fountain up there. Let's go and check it out. It looks like you can still keep walking, though, doesn't it? Uh, Where sure it you can, you? but there's no, nothing around there. But I can see. Yeah, it goes on and on and on and on. Not the best fountain in the world, but not the worst. It's making me thirsty, like I want to have a swim. The Spanish are tight over here. They don't throw pennies in their, um, you know, their fountains. No, they do, but the English steal them all. <laughs> no, right, this is going to be loud and noisy. Isn't it? Yeah, lots of cars lots here. Of right, so I'm guessing this road mirrors the front all the way along and then you can go up and there's two or three going down there i think this is a bigger place than you think you oh, know i think it is yeah first stop bank that's what you want in a bank so can you remember i said stop looking at rings <laughs> that's all yeah just having a peek so remember i said don't use the cash machines unless it's a bank's cash machine because they will charge you either three pound fifty or five euros just to use the machine. Since I said that, we've had to use them all the time because yes. we just haven't found any bank ones. Yeah. That's the first bank machine I've found and it didn't charge me, so. Did it charge you at all? No. Brilliant. So if you can find bank ones uh, and convert into euros, you won't get charged at all. Oh. <laughs> I think it bleeped just to get on his vlog, I didn't think he it? did, he was looking at us, weren't he? <laughs> The annoying thing is, Mazzy wanted to go to a vintage shop back there, yeah. but the traffic is so bad. You can't even cross the well, road. they've got a step across in here There now, is one here now, but then it's a long walk back to the vintage shop. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of, um, I don't know, I think we do want to be on this side though. Do you let's be? just cross, let's just cross. Cross, shall we? Yeah, let's cross. Thank you. Well, we're, ready to go to the vintage shop. we're free, we made it over. <laughs> right, come on then, let's go back yeah. up. Fabulous little vintage shop. So we've just been in there. Unfortunately, no men's stuff. All women. They had a couple of it. Oh, no. did they? Planet Vintage. Very yeah. nice things. And not, Very not too good dear. price. 20 euro for most yeah. tops and things. Lovely dresses and stuff. Yeah, glad we came back to have a look anyway. There was nothing what grabbed us, was there? No. Even I were looking at women's clothes. Yeah, you it. was. Yeah, bless you. <laughs> little bridesmaid's dresses look. Check that little boy's suit out, look, babe. Oh, you don't have to look like that. But I do love the little boy's little get up look. Look, just come and have a look. Look how beautiful these dresses are. Got the crew. Oh, they're not bridesmaids, they're the Holy Communions, aren't they? Because they've got the um, rosary beads around them. Um, Holy Communion, there, there we go. <laughs> Beautiful though. Can we go now? We were, yeah, I was just going to say, I have found in Spain that the kids' clothes here are beautiful, really lovely. Yet another one. Christmas card tree. Must be the new thing. In a garden of olive trees. That looks nice. Oh, is that what they are? Yeah, they're olive trees. Oh. And we've got a church here, but this isn't the one everyone's telling us to no. go to. But we might be able to peek his head in, I don't know. Uh, with a lady here, with an hand missing. What a shame. 
you want a peek ahead? I don't think it looks, it looks brand new. I'll it? have a little peek. Yeah. Nothing special. Oh, look at this. You know, everywhere you go, you buy a candle, don't you, and pay a little bit of money. Here, you put money in, and it's an electric candle. That is ridiculous. I've never seen anything like that in my life. I mean, it's better if you're praying. Get out. Mm. 2001, I think this is built then. Don't I? Probably is about right, isn't it? Yeah. You know, it's nice. Yeah, it's nice. I like this little square area. Yeah, it's very nice and you've got the knobbly trees here. The knobbly trees. <laughs> yeah, honestly, we've <laughs> decided there is so many more streets yeah. back there with shops. I think we're just going to like... Because there's so many alleys you've got to go up and down, up and down as well. Yeah. Isn't there? yeah. Um, so we are going to have new content every day for you guys. <sighs> so much Definitely. more to see. Saying it though, we are struggling a little bit with our internet, so if there is a day we go without a video, it's very poor internet yeah. because we're under a load of trees and just, I don't know why really. It doesn't matter which we're using. Even on the phone. On the phone, yeah. on the um, rural internet. So it's taken a long time e to upload. Three. Yeah. It's really, really slow, so it took, we started it uploading last night at about 5pm yeah. and it was uploaded by about 4am. Yeah, so, for a long time. So, so you've got one last night, and if you've got this one without a gap, yeah. then we've managed to but upload this last one. Last night's one should have been up the night before, but never mind. Yeah. Yeah. Right, we've decided to do a second street today. Yeah, because there's so many, and it's so good anyway. So there's the steps leading up to the old town. Oh, that's the old town, and the big church at the top. Yeah, I'll see it now. We are going to do it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, just more shops, really. See if there's anything of interest to show you guys. Very busy. Too many cars, that's the problem. Yeah. yeah. Okay, we've seen a lot of rubbish. But this is the best Christmas tree we've seen. Yeah, that's, that's a proper, I know it's artificial, but that's a proper Christmas tree, isn't it? Yeah, I wonder how many baubles are on there. 362. <laughs> One for each day. Oh, it's so pretty. Yeah, so we've come across this little square area. Thinking Town Hall might be around here somewhere. I wonder where that bridge is. Yeah. It's probably further up. Maybe over a river, there might be a river running through there or something, I don't know. Those are kebab shops that are heading. Is there? Yeah, it's dark kebab. kebab. It's shut. It's <laughs> shut. It's not bad then. Cafe Paradise. I'm just saying to Mazzy, I really like this seating. I wanted to poke my head in, but there's somebody in there. <laughs> don't you think that's really yeah. modern looking and classy? And you've got the little umbrellas to go. Okay, the problem is the main road right next to it. Mm -hmm. But I think that's beautiful with them colours, the pastel colours. Yeah. Well done. Looks good. Yeah, I think we're going to make a right, actually. They yeah, don't we're going seem to down be... here because... Yeah. We're not getting anywhere, are we? It's just don't see... Oh, there is, really. There's an orange shop there. I don't know. Let's cross over it anyway. And I'm hungry. <laughs> You always hung are you hungry or starving? I'm just hungry. <laughs> um, we're thinking Greek today, are yes. we? Yes. But Quite I do want to Greek. sit down and have a drink first elsewhere yeah. and check their menu out. Oh pirate shop. Yeah. Pirate bar. You wanna pop into the pirate shop? Oh we love the pirate bar. And that is one of the best bars I think I've ever 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 been into, decorated out like. It's the best decorated yeah. I've ever been in, yeah. yeah. It's amazing. Best themed bar, if just you like. Just come here just to go and see that. Honestly, isn't it, babe? It's like a museum in there. 
Yeah, it's really good. <laughs> So yeah, we're just walking back down to the front down here. So, so you've got the front to walk on, which takes you half an hour. And then you've got this road, which we've just done. And then we've just started up that road, but we've given up for now. Yeah, I think we've think well, I think done, we've done enough for today. I think there's not much else there anyway. So next time we'll be going to the old town. Though, possibly we? tomorrow. Yeah, possibly. We'll see. Yeah. Cafe there, the perfect cafe for women. It's terrible. Right, you can sit down, have a bit of brunch, have a bit of lunch, have a bit of cake and tea while you shop. It's a boutique. It says brunch and boutique. <laughs> Qu quinoa. Quinoa. <laughs> it's for girls to go shopping and have a piece of cake and a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> All in one shot, that's yeah. ridiculous. That's brilliant. So there's tables, right, I just looked in. There's tables where people sat down eating a sandwich with clothes to buy right behind them. You'd be sitting there going like this, drinking the tea and then debating whether you should have ordered the cake because now you like that dress. You'd spend a fortune, you, <laughs> wouldn't you? I'm not that bad. Tell you what, this is a busy place. <laughs> Down this end, it is more so, isn't it? This is your seafront, you can see how many people are on here. On a weekday. What is yeah. it, the 20th? Yeah. Maybe 30th of December? 29th, don't I don't know. know. Yeah, I'm not 29th, sure. I think. And but it's heaving. Absolutely boiling now, isn't it? It we'll is come hot. Back down on the front. About 21, 22 degrees today. Yeah. Um, I'd say it's hotter than that. But I think what Altair's got for you is you've got the old town, right? So you've got a bit of history, sort of quaint little streets. Then you've got your main. Town. Normal shops, yeah, and then you've got the seafront full of all the restaurants and bars. We kind of got to offer the, the town that we loved, where Gaza she was. Right? Kalpe. Kalpe. It's Similar. Kind, you know, it's, it's got that different aspect. I mean, but uh, I prefer Kalpe. I don't know. You like it? Well, don't you? I won't decide until I've seen the old town, but so far I am very, very impressed with this place. Yeah. Especially this new bit they've built. I just think it looks absolutely lovely. So we found an alley up. Yeah. You know, the ones with the cows outside. Um, and every time we go in one, Mazzy wants a certain kind of slipper. You've seen them, the big, they look massive like trainers. things. It's a bit over the top. <laughs> Um, so we're going to see if they've got some. Yeah. She can't get them in England. Well. No, I've never seen them in England. No, no. Should we go and see them? Yeah, we can have a look. Merry Christmas. I couldn't get my trainer slippers. Got it. Well, you could have done. And you were trying your very best to get a size 5 to 6 or 3.5 to 4, but you're a size 4 to I'm 5. I'm sort of 4 to 5. So yeah. she'll go for 5 to 6. I says, Mazzy, they won't fit you. Why get them? Why not wait till we get to another alley up yeah. and get some there? And she were like, you know, the ugly sisters on Cinderella? They will fit. They will fit. They will fit. <laughs> I was wanting them the smaller pair, and he wouldn't let me. But anyway, I've got a snuggle I would let like, you. It's just, no, you just I'm said, trying let's to... just wait. Yeah. You know how I make sense? I'm guessing, though, they might be sort of selling out out of stock, because there were only two kinds there today. Mm. Different shops have different things. Yeah. Um, but don't worry, guys. Don't worry. She did walk away with a, a blanket. It's like a snuggle blanket. You, it's like a jumper. Honey, Must be about 24 degrees now. You got knocked over by him. You were pushing me onto that. It's about 24 degrees. What did you get again? Oh, a blanket. No, but it's like a jumper thing. So it's like wearing your dressing gown, but you're not. And it's like wrapping yourself up in a blanket, but you can walk around the house in it. I'll show you later. Well, enjoy it. 35 euros for a blanket and it's 23 degrees. It's <laughs> for when I get home. So here's Mazzy's blanket. It's one of them. We've all seen them, haven't we? It's a cute one. I thought they were quite expensive though, 35 euros. Yeah, but they are. I don't know how much they are in England. Um, I like it. But everything in Aliop seems to be quite expensive. Either really cheap or really yeah. expensive. Like you can it's get some wireless earphones for like 10 euros. Yeah, yeah. 
and then yeah. some things are really expensive but I'm guessing it's branded or something I don't know but that's gonna do me when I get back home it's gonna do you for the mornings now the mornings now is cold we're actually putting the diesel heater on aren't we I don't think I need a bag then let's just shove this in your rucksack shall we yeah I'd love to carry that for you is there pictures? Ah, yes, I'm filming, right. Uh, we didn't get into the Greek, it is full. Absolutely rammed. So, we were going to come here anyway, one day. To the tandoori that we saw, that we got the menu for. Uh, what's it called? Bingo. Uh, Himalayan tandoori. Himalayan, yeah. Himalayan curries. Now, we've not heard of a lot of these curries. But they look nice on the picture they board. Nice on the yeah. Picture. So we're gonna try here today and we'll do the Greek tomorrow maybe. Uh -huh. So we haven't ordered yet, but the lovely ladies already bought us out some freebies. Freebies. I say freebies, they're probably gonna still be on our bill, but oh, <laughs> we could just have this and go. Yeah, yeah. Who's to say we were here to eat? <laughs> yeah, the um I'm finding the menu not so easy actually. It's not really. Yeah, there's no English. No. Yeah, so. Thank you. Gracias. Two pints. We're not sure really Gracias. what we ordered. But <laughs> that was all. That was hard ordering a pint of beer, We've wasn't no it? Idea what beer this no. Is. Let's give it a try. Okay. It's okay. I think that's Heineken. I think it's Heineken. Yeah, yeah. Not bad. Right, let's... Oh, you've got pictures. So now we have to pick a curry, and we've never heard of any of them. So this is going to be interesting. I'm looking forward to trying a different curry. I am. What if you take one tiny spoonful, or it's horrible. You're stuck with it. <laughs> right, we've ordered. We certainly have. <laughs> Mazit has just gone for curry sauce. Yeah. Madras hot with yeah. rice. I've gone Killer for... Rice. It's a lamb curry which we've never heard of. Oh. But it looks all right. And that's why I wanted it, because I've never tried that curry before. Yeah. And it, it's not normally hot, but it's going to make it hot for me. And chips. Basmati and naan bread to share and some chips to share. So. Sorted. And all this is free. Free. Free, I tell you. Be on the bill. <laughs> that is looking amazing. <laughs> Look at that. It looks just like the picture. No idea what it's going to taste like because I've no. never in my life heard of that curry. Oh, I must try a little bit of that. Now, I thought I ordered two rices, but... I think it's all in one, Mazza. Oh, There's a lot it? of rice in there. Oh, yeah, that's a mountain of rice, yeah. And we've got... Uh, did you uh, order a naan? A naan bread to share, chips? yeah. Did you order chips? Yeah, and chips, yeah. Oh, yeah. I shouldn't mention chips. Yeah, Maybe naan bread and chips. And that's my curry sauce. So that's a lot of curry. It is a lot of curry sauce, is that? It's a lot of rice. <laughs> Bring it on. Looking forward to this. I just hope we don't need toilet after it. Oh, here we go. I think we're going to have some more now. <laughs> Where's it going to fit? I have no idea. <laughs> wow. I think it's a bit What's it here? <laughs> well, that's a huge portion. So there is two rices. Oh, that's your one. <laughs> ah, okay, yeah. And chips, and chips yeah? Chips. Oh, is this uh, no, we'll it's take too that. Nice. Take, take that. that. And that one. <laughs> yeah. You can have that. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> okay, enjoy your meal. Thank Gracias. you very much. Thank you. So this is our meal. So you've. I've got the wrong rice then, haven't I? You have, yeah. So do but you want it to don't matter. Uh, yeah, can do. Well, it doesn't matter. It don't matter. Yeah, that. but I don't like boiled rice. <laughs> I think it's the same, but one of them's yellow. But you never want pillow. You always just want plain boiled rice, don't you? Yeah, I don't like any mm. kind of flavour or anything in the rice. It's all about the curry. I'll tell you what, the naan bread looks good, doesn't it? Right. It, everywhere we've had a curry in Spain, the naan bread has been ten times better than you get in England. I'll tell you what, they were really good poppadoms as well, actually. Right, let's enjoy, yeah, babe? Yes, please. So far, right, I've had a little bit. The naan bread is proper homemade and absolutely beautiful. Dan's loaded his plate with the full shabab. Yeah, come and have a close, <laughs> come and have a close look. It glistens in the sun, look at this. 
But you need to try it. Still haven't tried it. Should I try yours? Yeah, you try it. I've got it on the Look at that for a naan bread. What do you think of mine? Mm. Yeah. You're gonna, oh gosh. <laughs> Spicy, hold on, hold on. Is it hot? Mm. Bring it on. Yeah, spicy, but it's absolutely delicious. Mmm, really tasty, isn't it? A very different taste to what I've had before. I like that. No, but it's really nice. Do you remember what it was it called? Is. No idea. This naan bread is amazing. <laughs> Proper homely, freshly cooked. Good? That's lovely. Yeah. Mm. Try naan. This sauce is really spicy as well. It's proper nice, isn't it? Beautiful. Perfect. I think what they do over here is they put olive oil on top of the naans. No, that's how they cook it. In oil. Yeah, but it will be like Spanish olive oil water. No, I don't, in nah, Spain love that. that don't taste like olive oil. Anyway, leave Enjoy. Me alone. Beautiful. Done and dusted, that was amazing. That, that was actually really amazing. <laughs> I would say it wasn't as good as the one in Calpe. You think it was? I think personally it was better, so. No, I don't. It was lovely, lovely, don't get me oh, wrong. Oh, they were both nice, they were both nice. But I personally prefer a, a karai, and they do a karai there, but I thought I'll try something different, and it yeah. was very nice, but it wasn't as nice as a karai. I personally loved yours, it was full of flavour. Oh, it was nice? Yeah. Um, I think I've clocked onto some of what's happening to us. What? Because we're tourists. Yeah. Every time we get the bill. They're all tourists around here though. The bill is always about 50 cents under a 10 euro. Rounding it up. Right? <laughs> so let's say it's, like that was what, 39 euro 50. Um, you can't 50. just give them 50 cents tip, can you? <laughs> so you give them 10 euro 50 tip. And I'm sure they do it on purpose. I'm sure it will probably about 36 euro and then you'd give them 40 euro. But we've they been, know that. We've been tipping them well. I mean, a 10 pound, 10 euro 50 tip is very good. We're over tip. We are definitely over yeah. tipping, but I but think. It don't We're enjoying it. If we didn't enjoy it, we wouldn't really tip. Well, we have done, haven't we? Can you remember? Yeah, I know, but that was your silly Frog's idea. leg I had. Uh, yeah. Dinosaur leg. No, that was the paella, wasn't it? And the paella. Oh, yeah, the dinosaur leg, you mean. We have been a bit silly on tipping. No, but it's Christmas, you know, and. Yeah, it and is. And we've been looked after. When we sit there, we are being looked after, so yeah. I appreciate that. But, yeah, very nice. Well yeah. enjoyed that. So we've done that. So yeah. next time we need to try the Greek, which yes. is around here somewhere. I think we've passed it again, haven't we? Probably. Yeah, it's down all the way to keep walking past it. But we do need to move on quickly because the toilet in there didn't work. Yes, that was the only downfall today. She thought she was going to have to wee in a bucket. Yeah, he kept it. I asked for the toilet and he was like, yep, yeah, over there. And then another guy came along. He was like, yeah, something to do with a bucket, no water. And I generally thought I was, well, I did practically pee in a bucket because there weren't no water to flush or wash your hands. So that was only, yeah, downfall. And I needed the toilet at the same time and I still haven't <laughs> gone. <laughs> so we're rushing now, I need a toilet. What did you just say? They don't really have bins there. Do they not? No, rubbish for bins in Spain. Yeah. No, no, they're usually good. What? Oh. <laughs> oh, whatever. <laughs> Starting to record, so let's wait for the dog. No, don't encourage it. Oh, the dog hasn't come. <laughs> Please the vicious uh, Alsatian hasn't come, it normally does. Yeah. Right, so we're going back to campsite. Uh, yep. We just went into the last bar which went in yesterday, which you'll see. Which is our total local, isn't it? It's the closest. Yeah, it's the closest to the, the campsite. Uh, we, we both needed a wee, <laughs> as we said. Um, so we had his way, but they had no beer or electric. No electric, no coffee machine, no nothing. Nothing S in the fridge. So we're crossing... Look at that hill, look at this hill. Oh, it's not that bad. Oh. It's not that bad. At least once you've had a stomach full of curry. <laughs> so we were just crossing the road and we got to a zebra crossing and a bike didn't stop for us. 
he kind of shouted, oi, oi, something, I don't know. Didn't stop. And then it, it turned around. I think we'd said something like, oh, he should have stopped then. And then he turned around and I thought it would come in to have a go because we said uh, yeah. he should have stopped. It's the Norway man. The, it's the Norway man. The one who bought us the chocolates on the last campsite. I'll tell you what, them chocolates were lovely. <laughs> so he's come for a bike ride out to yeah. Altair today. As I say, it's not very far from... Uh, Benidorm. From Benidorm. Yeah, oh God, this is hard work. Yeah, well, let's have a little rest here. We've still got... It is literally just round the corner. Yeah. But it is a steep hill, is it? So let's just leave it here. Yeah. Thank you for joining. Yeah. Come back tomorrow we'll for more tomorrow. from Altea. Hopefully including <coughs> the old town. We'll see what we can do. Say see goodbye. See you tomorrow. Goodbye. <laughs>